Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's Harry Potter time. Actually, that sounded really quite creepy and ominous. That is not how I intended this to be. <laughs> like, hasta la vista, baby. Okay, right, focusing. So, Harry Potter, we're building a Lego Harry Potter set. This one's really big set. In fact, there are eight minifigures included in the set. It's a huge box. Oh, did I forget to say what it was? It's, this is the Attack on the Burrow. So this is the Weasley's family home. There are 1,047 pieces in this box and it will set you back, yeah, a, a, a bit. It's not a cheap set, but it's, oh my gosh, I'm so sure this is going to be totally worth it. It looks as though it's just packed full of details and it's got eight minifigures to start with. So six bags, is it six? We got, oh, seven bags. Check it out, a bag full of base plates. And this one has got, obviously, the instructions and two sheets of stickers. So let's just make sure everything's as it should be before we get started. Oh, look at all the color inside. Oh, look at those stickers. Oh my goodness. Okay, very excited to start this. Right, so this first bag has got uh, the Weasleys. Well, the mum and dad, mama and papa Weasley. And so Molly and Arthur Weasley. And this one's obviously Molly Weasley because she's wearing a dress, though I don't think that Mr. Weasley would have too many problems with wearing a dress. I mean, he's a wizard, they wear robes, right? <laughs> That's such a cute hairpiece for her. Is that a new color for this hairpiece? I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Let's try it. Oh, just throwing the wand away. So let's see if we can get it in her hand. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so now Molly is armed and ready to do magic. And let's, fight. let's let's get Arthur out. And he gets the other wand. Coincidentally, these wands match their hair color. <laughs> That's such a cute little detail. He's wearing the cutest patchwork vest or, oh, I suppose it's not patchwork. Well, it is like kind of a woven, which face should I do? Oh yeah, there we go. Let's keep them all happy at the moment. I really don't want them to have to be sad. There's enough sadness comes in their future, no spoilers. So he's wearing a, a knitted patchwork vest, if such a thing exists. And it does because he's wearing it. But they are now ready, so let's start putting together. We go straight into building the actual building, the house, straight down to business. No little external builds here today. Not yet anyway. So I don't know what we have doesn't really how is this part of a house it looks like a swamp we've got like puddles and swampy colors down the bottom and a red bucket oh, I'm getting an idea oh my god this is a pink pig this is a brand new pink pig oh that's that's so cute I can't feel I want to make him I want to be able to see his little face he's so cute but I can't let's put let's put the gate on as the instructions say to do keep the piggy safe in a pen <laughs> that's really 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 cute I want two piggies though there's room in there for two piggies but I suppose that'd just be greedy one piggy is enough no one piggy is never enough <laughs> I'm rounding over the top of the pig pen now with these little half circle pieces I love them they just make such a fantastic finish to buildings now which is really really awesome okay all right so we've got a pig pen on the outside. I was going to try and say a pink pig pen. I wasn't sure I'd be successful, but I just did it then. Pink pig pen. And on this side here, I don't know what we've got, but that's okay because we're adding another base plate. And this one looks as though it is more house colored, a house colored base plate. Lots of jumper studs going down on here though, and lots of smooth tiles. So we're going to have things that can be detached from this plate. <gasps> Look at that. It is on hinges here next to the pig pen. This is going to be so cool. This is this is so interesting. Uh, th th like there's no repetition in this building. It, it's, it's everything's everywhere. It's so eclectic and mishmash and so awesome. OK, but I have to concentrate and 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 make sure I get everything in the right spot. Because if one little brick is out of place, then nothing else is going to fit. It's not quite that dire, but sometimes it can be. It can be that, that, that bad. Okay, what is this orange thing? It's not a pig. It's dead to me. No, it's not dead to me. It's beautiful. It's, oh, it's a couch with a little teal colored cushion. That's cool. In fact, this looks like, well, I was about to say, it looks like a miniature of the Friends couch from the Friends sitcom <laughs> but it's not quite, it's just orange, so that's probably the only similarity. It's got this little rounded over bits. And this here is another seat for the living room. It's a nice, big, comfy lounge seat, just one. And yeah, poor Molly, she's never going to be able to sit down because she has a skirt. But, you know, Arthur can always be comfortable. 
men. It's typical. <laughs> Why do men always get the comfortable clothes? Okay, so we've got another base plate and we've attached it with another hinge. We are flipping this out three ways at the moment. It's just craziness. And we're at the end of bag number one. A few spare pieces. We're up to bag number two. And now we get to meet two more characters, two more minifigures. And this is definitely not Harry. Um, let's see what the head gives me. Oh, okay. Angry face. Happy face. Bright red lipstick. Brown hair. This is supposed to be Nymphadora Tonks, but why is her hair not bubblegum pink or something just a lot more out there? At the moment she looks, well, far too mainstream, but okay. But it's really nice that Tonks is included in this set. Now, who have we got next? Um, rumpled cardigan, red eyebrows. Uh, you know, it's any of the Weasleys, but it's a bit too rumpled to probably be Percy. So I'm going to go with this being Ron. I reckon we've got Ron and Tonks here, which is perfect. Now let's continue on with the house and see how it all goes together. It's just so crazy at the moment. We've got so many just whacked building, not building techniques, but building design going on. Does that make any sense? It's not got to do with the Lego. It's got to do with the actual design of the house itself because it's just been basically thrown together and developed over the years. I love these stained glass windows. They're all different. I wonder who was the one who was learning lead lighting because they just did like anything anywhere. <laughs> so crazy. Okay, we're heading inside and we get some things for the side table. We get a vase with a pretty flower in it. We get a drink bottle. And on the other side, what have we got? It's like fitting out a doll's house. It's so fun. A uh, candelabra, a little candelabra, and then snugged in next to the couch, we get a lamp, a floor lamp. Oh, that's so cozy. Oh, I love it. Oh gosh, I love building houses. This one's absolutely nuts, which just makes it even more fun. Some more stained glass windows going in here. All of them different, but all of them, they just add fantastic pops of color as well. Okay, actually, I just noticed that those two lounge chairs are facing the same way. That's a bit, bit strange, but there must be a reason for that. Alrighty, putting together five of these little brown concoctions. Just, I wonder if these are some, that for stability. Oh, look at that. So those two pieces are held together by that little outward facing stud there, but it's easy to pop open so you can open it up. It's like a flip out doll's house on both sides. That's so smart. We've got some more of these little Z shaped shuttery things. Are they shutters? I don't even think they're shutters. I don't even know how to describe them. We've got some more lead lighting over here. No color in this one. It's just all the all the lead bit and no lighting. All right. So now we have to hold all of these pieces that we've put on together along with the, the tan plates along the top. And then we get to build a substantial part of the wall. Maybe this is definitely something something structural. So we've got some outward facing beams there. Oh, these hinge parts just make me so, so excited to see how it's all going to look when it's all finished because it all flips open. I've done something wrong here. So everything needs to oh, move over one. There we go. All right. So now it fits. Ta-da! There we have it. Okay. We've got some decorative tiles here with some pictures on them. I'm not sure what but like my assumption is these are actually the kids pictures that they, they they drew when they were little so we've got one of a unicorn in the forbidden forest and one of something I think is probably forks but I'm not sure like I've read the books I've seen the movies but I'm not a huge potterhead I, I just I don't know the lore so if you know anything more about those pictures let me know but I think they're probably the kids pictures that's my assumption but I don't know for sure so over here we have got the kitchen fantastic looking sink Oh, that's a really cool way to build the sink. And over on the side, we get some nice details like another wine bottle and some random bottles of condiments or spices or, I don't know, magic potions. I have no idea. They're just random. And this sink now has three taps, as you do. And a teapot on the side. And this is obviously the kitchen. So now we get... We're going to get the massive dining table. Look at how it all fits together with all these parts closed. This is so excellent. <laughs> this is, the, I reckon the creators must have had so much fun putting this together. All of the seats, well, almost all of them in different colors. And this is our big dining table, all decked out, ready for 
for breakfast. We've got a platter here of eggs. Oh my gosh, this set has got four of the printed egg pieces in it. This one over here is covered in waffles. Definitely breakfast feast time. That's not really feasting when you've got so many people in the house. So we need lots and lots of food. We get some teacups and some of the mugs as well. Oh my gosh, this is just packed full of fabulous, fabulous details. Lots and lots of cool things. And in the middle of the table, we get a juice jug. That's so clever. I love that. And here we've got some sort of, is that like sauce? It could be maple syrup, could be chocolate sauce, could be Worcestershire sauce for the eggs. Oh, but I don't know. I don't really know, but I, I'm going with Worcestershire sauce or maple syrup. One of those. Can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's your choice if you're putting it on your eggs or your waffles. So let's see how many people we can sit. We Obviously, we can sit six people at this table. Poor Molly has to stand again. So she can put her wand away for now and she can have this cup of tea. And look at how that slots so beautifully in there. And this one clicks open and you can access all the areas like that. Oh, this is so much fun. We've got a couple of pots over here with maybe some herbs or they could just be decorative pots, but I doubt it. Everything seems to have a purpose here in the house. So you can use it for spell making or for cooking. Now we get some really big window piece with some yeah, okay, so it's obviously a window, and this is the, oh, this is the window that it sits out here. Oh, I just knocked over my piggy. It sits out from the lounge room, so it actually juts out. And now we get to put a whole heap of roofing on in just all the colors, whatever they could find on the day that they were fixing the roofing or putting this roof on, this first level of the roof. The door's pretty standard, which is, which is cool, because, you know, it's a door. You don't really want to mess with a door too much. This is looking absolutely fantastic. Here are our spare parts at the end of this bag. We've got some more, another waffle, another egg, got another teacup, some more flowers. Oh, so many spare parts. We're up to bag number three. Okay, continuing on with the absolute higgledy piggledy mishmash of roofing. But before we continue with the roofing, we've got to put some more internal structure in. So all of these arches are going to help hold up the levels below and we need this hinge to help yeah help reinforce that hinge on that side oh because there are gonna be a lot of levels it goes up quite quite high and it's wonky too so held together by magic <laughs> we'll have to see how it all goes together i love this this is so much fun more roofing more more roofing it's so colorful and 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 appropriate i think it just suits them so much Putting the little slopes on the top to bring that bit to the peak. And now do we get some more furniture? Well, this looks like a table. <laughs> no prizes for me because there's obviously a table. But we've got a letter on there in the new style, the new Harry Potter style, and a little jar, a little green jar. Oh, I have an inkling of what that might be, depending upon what else we get in this living room. So that table is now nestled between the lounge chairs. Let's see if what I'm thinking is going to be happening is going to come to fruition. It might, it might not. I don't even, don't really know what we're doing here. This is clever. So we're tucking these little technique pieces here, putting some claws on the front, alternating places and, oh, green flame. Yes. Yes, and these are brand new green flame pieces too. Special for the fireplace because that's what the green jar is for. It's the flu powder so that they can toss it into the fireplace. Yeah, because this side is the flamey fire part. You know, the real fire, the flamey bits. And the green part is the bit that you don't want to be flamey, but it transports you places and you can tilt it. No, not tilt it. You can twist it. You can totally just completely turn it around. That was better. It was better than tilting or twisting, turning it completely around, depending upon whether you've thrown the flu powder in or not. The flu powder. The flu powder. All right. So we have got a little knob on the side to turn that. And this is going to be able to be accessed from two sides, but you're not, I wonder if you'll be able to actually step a minifigure into it. You're gonna have to remember to try that. I don't think there's gonna be room. I think you're just gonna have to use your imagination on that one, guys. I don't think we got room for an actual minifigure. So this goes, yeah, behind there, behind those little smooth pieces. And 
yeah, you can access it from either side. So you can get it from the kitchen or you can get it from the lounge room and it is just there as you walk in through the door. So a central fireplace that is very sensible, very sensible, keeps the whole house warm. All right, let me see what next piece of furniture, was that English? Yes, that was English. Next piece, it sounds weird now though, we'll try and say it back. The next furniture, no, no, I'm not even gonna try and say it again. We've made some logs. We've got some wood logs and on the other side, I'm not sure what we've got, let's see. So the logs go on this side facing into the lounge room and in the kitchen, maybe just a little drawer or a little cupboard dory kind of thing. And out here, you might've been wondering how we're actually going to turn this, get an enormous rod sticking in from the outside of the house and then you can turn from the outside there with the cog. That's very handy. You don't have to actually stick your fingers in and turn it around. Oh, they think of everything. Let's see what we have got now. So much color. This is so, so, have I mentioned it's fun? I think I have. It really is just a remarkable amount of fun though, building this. Ah, uh, this is a little bookcase. Look at that. Look at how it's differently textured and they point out at different, different places. And it's not, oh my goodness, it's an upright bookcase for on top Oh, on top here, right next to the fireplace. That's cool and clever. Oh, I love that design. What else can we possibly fit in here? It is so incredibly cluttered. But you know, the Weezy's house is cluttered and friendly and warm and, and welcoming. So it's perfect. It's just perfect. And I think that the fact that this has got some weird looking clock weights means that we are building the clock. I just don't know where we're gonna fit it. <laughs> so definitely a clock with so many different colors. Oh, that's awesome. And at the top, oh, I remember what the clock face looks like. This is so cool. So the sticker has got, it doesn't tell the time, it tells you where every member of the family is at the moment, Lost. No, nobody's pointing to Lost. Nobody's pointing to Lost at the moment. I love this clock. This clock is just lovely. All right, let's finish putting these smooth over pieces here and the little pointy pieces on the top and then we find out where this crazy clock goes. Oh my gosh, it does, it fits there behind the fireplace. Oh, now we can't access the fireplace from the kitchen, but that's fine. As long as the clock is fire retardant, it will be all right. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got some more internal structure going on and now we've got a whole heap of you know, important building, boring building bits, which are, you know, necessary so that the next level doesn't actually fall down. So let's make sure that they're all in the right place. And then we get another one of these pictures, which just, it's gotta be, they've gotta be kids drawings, right? This one's a cauldron and it goes in the kitchen. And now we get to build the front entryway, which should be like littered with gumboots or wellingtons and rusty old cauldrons, but it's looking far too tidy. Maybe they'll come later. Some more structural importance going on up here so that the next level's got something to sit on and a nice little entryway. Oh, put this on just in the wrong spot here. There we go. And a bit more roofing over here. And we've got a little hook outward facing on that front entryway. I'd be curious to see what we're gonna be sticking on there. But at the moment, we've made the most amazing bottom level of the Weasley's house with a living area and a kitchen and ugh, the clock and oh my goodness, the fireplace. We got some cool spare pieces here, but you know we're up to bag number four and you know that I'm going to be doing the rest of this in the next video. So make sure you subscribe. I will get it up very, very soon for you, I promise. But I just don't want to waste a minute of these details. I don't want anybody to blink and miss something because I've gone too fast because it's just too awesome. So I'll see you with another video very, very soon. Don't hold your breath while you're waiting because you'll probably die if you hold it for that long. But yeah, I will be back in a reasonable amount of time. So I'll see you then. Bye.